Hey guys and welcome back to another video. I'm Kaylin if you guys are new here and welcome to my daily vlogs. I'm looking rough right now. I'm at home. I'm chilling. Um, it is currently about five, almost six o'clock. I'm deciding if we are going to go to the park. I don't want to take a bath yet and get sweaty. And I'm going to see what dad had decide to do when he get off. See if he want to come up there with us to go walk. And, um, and when we come back, I can shower and then probably go Uber and stuff like that. So yeah, that's how we're doing right now for the moment. Just chilling. Trying to find some... Um, homes to rent because our lease will be up and i'm sure you can hear that that's one reason why i want to move because of the freaking no waste i don't know what it is i don't know because the, the kids are out of school but honey they just been bumping 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 i was asleep and they was just stumping stumping it wake me up i'm asleep sometimes it, it's annoying um i understand kids are gonna be kids but i'm not paying to be you know stumped on and stuff like that so I do want to find a home to rent or maybe a duplex, something there where nobody is like on top of us. And I don't want to be on top of nobody else because we have a kid. So just trying to find things like that. And uh, -uh don't pour it out. You need help? Come here. I do enjoy this apartment. This is our first ever owning it. Well, renting anything, being out the house for my parents. So I am so thankful for this. I love this apartment. I don't want to leave, but I mean, we still might be here anyway, ain't no telling, but the rent is increasing by $70 and it's like, is it really worth it? Because we have to listen to this bumping. We have to deal with no parking sometimes, like the parking lots here get so full and sometimes I don't even have a parking space to get into because I work late sometimes and I come in late and I have to park all the way over there or something like that. I got a call coming in. We don't got no new appliances. Then out here on this patio, we had a bird nest up there. They done knocked it down because the, um, we got inspection. However, they didn't care about it to knock it down prior to. And them birds been tearing it up right there. And we also, when we first moved here, we also had this big oil spill patio stain. I don't know what it is, but they said that they tried to get it up and stuff like that like we shouldn't be paying no extra when we got i don't even like going outside like that because of that it's still like sticky or oily or something and we like to walk outside with no shoes and stuff like that sometimes so i don't even like to play out there because i have a little one and i don't want him you know i don't know what that is and they don't know what it is i don't want him playing in that I just don't feel like it is worth paying extra but if we got to that's fine you know Daddy. they also do offer the month to month thing i don't want to leave but at the same time i do want better and um but it all depends on what we can find if we can find anything good deals better deals or what and we also did view some apartments um i'm not gonna show that because it's actually people who stay there and they had their stuff there and that probably was the place was actually nice, but it, it was a little bit smaller. Like I feel like our apartment was bigger than that, and it was a two. It had a two story, but they had a cat there. The cat and stuff was cute, but it had a lot of fur. I'm not against animals, but I just don't want to be living behind nobody else who lived like that. Like they were dirty, and they also had a lot of cat hair everywhere, and it was carpeted in most common spaces. You know, I have a little one; he on the floor constantly, so I don't want him to. You know, I don't know how them people gonna clean up behind themselves. You know, in the property, people, you know, if they clean up. This when we moved in this apartment, this had new carpet, brand new carpet, so that was a plus. Place that we had looked at had carpet also, but that cat. Just had fur everywhere. The place smelled like poop. And the person who lived there it was a little bit dirty. Like, I just, I don't like it. And it just made me not want to live in that place at all. Just seeing what it looked like. And it was just a little bit smaller. So, we, we have a little one. So, we got to let him roam around. This is house. I did go to another one. But they didn't show up. Because I didn't confirm the email but the email was sent blank so i didn't know that they had told me to confirm anything so but the parking lot was super small like i had to back up and do a three-point turn just to get out mm -mm. so 
So I kind of just want something more secluded. Not with nobody living on top of us and we not living on top of nobody else. I'm fine with it being like a duplex or somewhere where people live aside of us, but kind of prefer like a home in the country a little bit. So I'm one of them girls, I'm a country girl. I used to want to live in the city, but now nah, baby, I'm good. Too many people, too many people. And our lease is up pretty soon. So I'm trying to get on the ball with trying to find more places to look at. I've reached out to a few and some didn't hit me back. So it's all good. I know we'll be destined to find the right place that's fit for us. And I'm so thankful for this place. I love this place. I really do. But like I just mentioned, the conditions and stuff with some things is very minor. Like I said, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't mind staying again. But if we can find something that'll be even better possible. We're still waiting on that. It's almost seven o'clock. My back's starting to hurt a little bit more, but it's feeling a lot better than what it did the previous few days. I just finished doing my research and gatherings of homes to rent and um, set up some viewing. So we'll see if they reach back out and go from there so i'm done with that for a while until i can be able to see you know what i can find well once i'm able to see if i can view these homes and stuff of that sort um but i think i'm about to go ahead and put my clothes on that i should be coming coming home soon so we are at the park we made it now that i want to run and jog i'm just walking because that hill ain't no joke especially pushing landing and this is about an hour long walk like to and from to the park like from this part to the park itself like the playground that's 30 minutes too and then about it's a little shorter back so it might be like 50 45 minutes of a walk i really enjoy it it's really nice out here as you can see and it's after hours so we were able to still come in as long as we don't drive you know we can't drive in here because of the gate but um it's it's this is my first time walking here when it's closed but i'm thankful we able to because them cars be flying through here when i'm walking and pushing landing sometimes i don't like that so yeah we gonna walk and enjoy this look at him he jogging now <laughs> i like stuff like this because nature is oh my god i love nature Oh, I thought that was a big frog. Frogs was that big? It's nice though. <sighs> All right, let me get to walking. Oh, he is still jogging. He he better do it. Oh my lord. He doing good. Now he walking. That he did good for that the push landing up that hill. Y'all can't really see how steep that hill is, but he did awesome. I ain't even. Made it up halfway of the hill. I'm tired. I ain't got my water. Cause Ladera's got it on the stroller. Look at all the mosquitoes. Some of them tadpoles too. Or all of them tadpoles. But I guess things change. It's funny how someone else's success brings pain. When you're no longer involved, that person has it all. And you just stuck standing there. But I'm gonna need you to say something, baby. Say something, baby. Say something, baby. Say something. I'm gonna need you to say something, baby. I'm gonna need you to say something, baby. Yeah, it really sucks for every since I've been long gone. I traded in my senorita for a microphone. I hate the way we fell apart, girl. It's sad to see. Your life is good, but me and you, we a catastrophe. If I was unsuccessful, would you be satisfied? I need a paramedic, girl, I'm feeling paralyzed. If I could choose, you would always be a friend to me. The more money I made, you're acting like my enemy. It's crazy, I can't help it if you're feeling changed. Thought the pressure would turn you into my diamond babe. How can something so familiar be so strange? Closest friends get it strange when your status change. Uh, 
It's by mistake, say that where I am and where you at and we am home with Larry Lock, the only one that had my back. We were the perfect pair at nine, it seems that we don't match. It did the money, want me to give it back. This shit was all I knew, you and me only. I did it all for you, still you were lonely. We could have worked it out. But I guess things change. It's funny how someone else's success brings pain when you're no longer involved. You guys are <laughs> All right, guys, we are back in the car. I am tired, honey. I'm hot. I can't believe I used to do this with Landon in the stroller up and down. But thanks for coming along with us. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and tell a friend if you like these videos. And I'll see you in the next vlog. Ta-ta!